Number 10. Polish. This language has seven cases and Polish grammar has more exceptions than rules. Polish cases, however, seem to need more time and effort to learn the logical pattern or rules. You might have to learn the entire language. Furthermore, Polish people rarely hear foreigners speak their language, so with no accent or regional variation, pronunciation must be exact or they will have no idea what are you talking about. Number 9. Icelandic It's a very hard language to learn because of its archaic vocabulary and complex grammar. Icelandic keeps all the all known declension and verb conjugations. Many Icelandic phonemes don't have exact English equivalents. The only way you can learn them is by listening to recordings or to native speakers. Number 8. Russian Russian vocabulary is particularly hard because of the many ways words are created. Adding a prefix or suffix to the word makes its meaning completely different. Russian is also notably difficult because of its two pairs of consonants, plain and palatized. Number 7. Estonian. Estonian has 12 different cases in its grammatical system. This language is also hard because it has many exceptions in grammar rules. Also, many words mean several different things. Number 6. Finnish. Finnish is a highly phonetical language. Word construction rules are determined by how the letter sounds. With 15 noun cases, sometimes just small differences can result in a hook difference in meaning. For example, talota means without a house, while talolta means from a house. Number 5. Hungarian. First of all, Hungarian has 35 cases or noun forms. This language is full of very expressive idiomatic words and suffixes. The high amount of vowels in their dip in the throat sound makes it very hard to speak as well. Number 4. Hindi. The script of this language is even less distinct and more difficult to learn than Chinese characters. Also, the fact that there are different words whether you are speaking to a male or female or whether you as the speaker are male or female makes it even more complicated. Number 3. Arabic. The first challenge is the script. Most of the letters have four different forms depending on where they stand in the word. Also, vowels are not included when writing. A present tense verb has 13 forms. There are three noun cases and two genders. Number 2. Japanese. Unlike Mandarin Chinese, Japanese is actually extremely easy to pronounce for English speakers. Unfortunately, writing Japanese is even more difficult than writing Chinese. It incorporates the kanji pictural characters from Chinese and also incorporates additional characters that are 
exclusive to Japanese. And finally, number one, Chinese. Many factors make Chinese very difficult to learn. For example, the characters Hansi used in the writing system seem to be archaic and obscure. Every word is a different symbol, and it's not phonetic, so it gives you no clues as to how it is pronounced. The tone system also is a pain because Mandarin has four tones. One other reason is Mandarin has a large number of homophones. Some people try to learn this language for that specific reason, being difficult and different. Okay, so I really hope that you enjoy my video. Uh, I know that I don't speak English very well, but I try to do my best. Also, I would like you to know that language has been very important to me, and I really want many people to try to learn them, uh, because it's an amazing adventure. Thank you. Should I